It's 1986 and it's my musical top 10. Let's get straight in it. At number 10 is the Blow Monkeys' uh, Animal Magic. This is their second album. And uh, Dr. Robert, of course, is the lead singer and writer. And he's written some lovely songs on this album. It's mainly sort of pop with a, a tinge of sort of uh, Roxy music style uh, delivery. Um, there are some tracks that have more of a funky feel. Uh, the standouts for me are Digging Your Scene, which was a minor hit. Uh, Sweet Murder, which is a bit funky. And Wicked Ways, which I like. Uh, at number nine is True Stories by Talking Heads. Now, this was a movie that uh, was uh, uh, written and directed by um, uh, David Byrne, sorry, written and produced by David Byrne. And the soundtrack uh, songs that were originally sung by members of the cast, well, David decided that he was going to get in on the act and so he took the heads into the studio and they were the backing band on the soundtrack. But on this album, he added his own uh, style of vocals to them. And it's a very good album. I love uh, City of Dreams, uh, Dream Operator and Love for Sale. And uh, the standout for me, People Like Us, certainly worth a listen. At number eight is Born Sandy Devotional by the Triffids. Yeah, I do like this Australian band. This is a very easy listen. The uh, stories in the lyrics are always interesting and they have a, a lazy language sort of rock style that uh, appeals to me. Wide Open Road, I like. And the Taraloop Bridge is another standout. And the mysterious, the seabirds. So at seven, it's No Guru, No Method, No Teacher by Van Morrison. Uh, Van continues to produce quality albums year by year. This one's no exception. Uh, thanks for the information. I love A Town in Paradise and also in the garden. And number six is XTC Skylarking. I've grown to love this uh, uh, band and this album is, uh, is a very appealing. Um, poppy, sort of chunky electronic style music um, with uh, excellent little stories. Standout tracks would be Summer's Cauldron and Grass. At number five, it's Parade by Prince. This, of course, preluded uh, Sign of the Times, so it's a quality album. Uh, some of the tracks uh, could have been on Sign, um, but it makes this album very, very appealing. You get the usual mix of uh, funk, uh, jazz, punk, uh, ballad R&B the best of the mountains do you lie kiss which was a big hit and girls and boys and number four was Joe Jackson big world now this is a strange album because it was three sides uh, not enough for a double but too much for a single I'm glad he didn't fill it out with rubbish and uh, there's some really standout stuff from Joe on this. My particular favorites are the uh, ballad arranged Shanghai Sky with him on piano. The strings are absolutely superb. $50 Love Affair is a, a quaint little boppy number about um, indulging in uh, the ladies of the night. And we can't live together. Uh, is a sort of love story gone wrong. At number three is the Redskins, neither in Washington nor Moscow. This was uh, the only Redskins album that I'm aware of. And of course, it was at the time when we uh, were pretty active 
in Britain uh, against Thatcher. Uh, the uh, union movement was at its most prevalent and uh, rock against racism. And this album uh, pit, uh, in, epitomizes that sort of struggle. Lean on me, keep on keeping on it, burn it up. That's about being on strike and not giving up. Um, take no heroes. A lot of references really to the miners' strike. At number two is The Queen is Dead by the Smiths. Um, well, what can you say about this? It's just a superb piece of music. Um, the songs are terrific. The uh, style of uh, pop is uh, great on the ears. Johnny Marr plays out of his hat. And Morrissey delivers lyrics like you've never heard before. The title track is a stunning rock piece. I Know It's Over is a lament. And Big Mouth Strikes Again. Morrissey confronting as usual. So that leaves us with the number one album in 1986. And it's Paul Simon, Graceland. Uh, this was a complete departure from Paul Simon. He decided that he was going to do what he wanted and not keep on kicking out Simon and Garfunkel copies. And he went to South Africa. He uh, recruited a band of local musicians and he put this gem together. Graceland, the title tracks, is absolutely captivating, as is Diamonds on the Skull of Her Shoes and the big hit single, You Can Call Me Out. Um, well, just get to listen to it. It's probably the best album of his career, although that's, that's being a bit tempting, I must admit, because the quality is always there. Okay, that's your uh, top 10 for 1986.